Hey, welcome back. I've got a really cool technique for you today. It's um, stamping with painter's tape. Can you believe it? Came out with this really cool card. It's not my um, design. I did find it on Pinterest, but um, I love the technique and I really think that you can go wild with it and um, you know come up with some other ideas. So let's get started. Slide that over. You're going to need your card base. This is Island Indigo and it is, let me see, squeeze you out. There you are. It's eight and a half by five and a half. Then you're going to need a sheet of Whisper White that is three and a quarter by five and a quarter. Then you're going to need just some strips of black, basic black, and they're five and a quarter long and you can really make them any thickness you want. I happen to do a half inch and three quarters. They're going to hide out behind the white. So you know, it can be really any thick thickness that you want. Okay, so let's get straight to the technique. Um, you need to go to Home Depot and you need to get some painter's tape. You know, just plain old painter's tape. Um, medium uh, quality because you don't want it to rip your cardstock when you go to pull it off. And the first thing you need to do is set up your white piece of Whisper, Whisper White. And I set it up on my grid of my um, paper stack on my uh, because that's going to help me set up the painter's tape and I'm not going to do the whole height of the painter's tape I'm going to go down and I'm going to do maybe two well count from the bottom one two three lines up on my grid and I'm going to line up this side and I'm going to go over here and line it up on that side so it's nice and straight and if you don't get it the first time lift and go again And don't press it too hard down because it does have a tendency to want to stick real well. So just kind of place it and tap it. Okay, get another piece, a little bit longer than the cardstock. And again, on the top, I'm going to count down one, two, three lines. One, two, three. Okay, so it's right here. Set this piece of tape and just run it across to this side. Okay. All right, so we're going to start with the Island Indigo. I've got a sponge. Now this little clip is something I found in the office. Um, you could use uh, the daubers, which we've, I've done in, in the past. Here's a dauber I can show you. These are really nice and work well. Um, I just happen to like the airiness of this sponge. So with this you're going to take and you're going to start off and then you're going to work on down to the to the paper. Circular motion. And start off and do a little bit because you can always add more color but you can't take the color away. So it's always good to to start little and, and go um, go back and cover. Alright, so here I'm just kind of rubbing back and forth to get a really nice line. You can see the line here, how nice and crisp it is. And that's what I did. I just kind of rubbed this back and forth. All right, so I'm changing sponges and changing to Wild Wasabi. I'm going to do the same thing off the bottom. Work up. Nice circular motion, then finish by going back and forth. Okay, now the tricky part is getting that tape off. If you go to pull it off and it starts to tear the paper, then you need to stop immediately and um, try from a different angle. Different angle can be maybe pulling it down or going to the other side and pulling it. Now I noticed that when I went to try to adjust this, that this one was tearing a little bit. See how it was tearing? Zoom you in. Well, I can't move it, but anyways, it will tear. So back off and then just try it from another, from another angle. Throw the tape away. And I'm going to go with this one. Go slow so if it starts to tear, you can stop. All right. And be careful. You see, I'm kind of getting my fingers in it. But you know what? It, it'll look like um, 
um, grass growing. Okay, so um, stamp sets. They are lovely as a tree. So I'm going to grab this guy right here. I'm going to do up some stays on, and I always do this um, upside down, meaning I keep the stamp um, upward, and then I put my stays on on top, so I can see that it gets a good coating. Now, with stays on, it dries really quick, and I recommend that you get a refill, because you really, you almost can't make it through a stamping uh, project without having to refill it. Okay, now notice how I got down into the white down there when I stamped. I think that adds a little bit of interest to it. All right, so here is um, Happy Day. Now, I got this at convention when I went, and interesting enough, I did not get the, the sticker sheets, and I need to call up um, Stampin' Up! and ask them to send me the sticker sheets. They will do it. I just haven't had a chance to get it done. So if you ever end up ordering something and you don't have sticker sheets you make sure you tell me because I want want you to make I want you to have them and they will send them okay so here is hello there I love that phrase again it's in stays on now you really need to let it dry before you go rubbing it stays on does dry quick but on our white cardstock it takes a little bit longer so here's our little black strips. I'm going to put a double of glue here. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. And if it's a little longer, it's not a big deal. We will clip that off. Just make sure you get your margin across the bottom even. Okay, we're going to do the top piece. And again, you want this to be the same margin as the bottom. Okay. Let it sit there a minute. And then I'm going to clip off 